Hey there, this is Brent Salisbury doing a quick screencast on Floodlight, the uh, OpenFlow controller. So let's start by uh, cloning that out of GitHub. Uh, I'm using a fork that somebody has uh, put out there. I believe his name's Wes Felter. He's uh, at IBM. Neat thing about it, he's got a got a front end uh, that's doing JSON lookups to uh, the controller. So that's kind of what's been missing with Floodlight a little bit for just getting a feel for how it works and how it looks. Uh, is being able to look on a GUI and look at your DPID, so your data paths going and all that kind of good stuff. So what we're going to do is clone that. So the terminal is pretty small, so I will have uh, I'll have all the commands on the uh, post. So we need to get all our packages, all the dependencies pulled down. So I'm going to pause while we uh, download about 500 meg here. All right, we got everything downloaded. So now we're going to go ahead and build a uh, jar out of that. So the nice thing is we don't have to mess with the clips. If you just want to get a quick feel for how it is, we can build it into a jar. And as you can see there, it's getting dropped into the target directory. So let's take a look and go ahead and jump into that directory. And let's run the controller. Once we have the controller uh, up and running, we'll attach two HP switches to it so you can see what it looks like to have some switches attached. So as we can see, we started up the uh, controller and now it's listening on port 6633. So let's switch over to our uh, switches. So it's just two switches, uh, two VLANs on it. I'll have a topology on the post. And so you can take a look at what it looks like. So let's take a quick look at the config. So very simple, two VLANs. Uh, one VLAN is our control VLAN, essentially where that's where we're going to build our connection back from uh, the OpenFlow agent on the switch and attach that to uh, the controller. So that command uh, to enable it is pretty straightforward so you can see our state is off right now all it takes is one command to uh, get it going so let's go ahead and enable it I've already put it in there so now we are pointing to the controller and we can see the controllers picked us up it sees our uh, data path ID and we're in there let's get the other one going and there we go so VLAN 3 is going to be the OpenFlow enabled uh, VLAN. VLAN 1 is going to be just our typical, uh, that's where the path to the controller is going to be. So on this, there's no routing in between. It's just all flat layer 2 between each other. So you see how we've got a yes, so now we're connected on the switch, so we can look at that both on the switch and the other. Uh, so we got debug junk in here and all that, but uh, let's go ahead and open up. So this is kind of neat. This is something that's been missing out of Floodlight. Uh, find the path. So we're going to put in our IP address of the controller and then slash UI slash index.html and we can see those requests coming into the controller it's showing up on the debug screen there. So let's poke around. There's a nice little dashboard here. Expand this a bit. Uh, so there are two switches. There's one host hanging off that switch. Uh, the switch port MAC address is there. Topology, as you can see, upload your own. Uh, and again, this is uh, it's a freshly minted product here. Or not a product, I should say. <laughs> as is. Uh, so there's our ports. Uh, nice counters there. We're seeing some of the stats. And back to our switches. Here's our other. So we can see those stats are incrementing. Let's drop into our host here. We've got the IP address of the host. So very cool front end that he's put together. So definitely, uh, definitely it's exciting to see these start to crop up. So that's it. Thanks a lot. I'll have uh, all the instructions on the post and have a good night.